It was item 43 on the Dallas City Council Wednesday agenda. Councilman Adam Magoo reading a letter, a difficult letter. His passion for the job is why the bad calls took such a toll on him. Written by the widow of John Kenny Crutcher, a Dallas firefighter who died in November. The letter telling the public for the first time. Took his life on November 12, 2021. It was suicide. He needed a day off, or several really, because he cared as much as he did. And then our second firefighter killed himself in December. So Dallas Firefighters Association President Jim McDade was searching for solutions. The city does have an employee assistance program. Firefighters have a chaplain's office. They have a peer support team. But firefighters could not get paid mental health leave. Only police officers could do that. Council voting in favor. The item passes, Mr. Mayor. That's what the city council changed today, making it available for firefighters and all city employees. Firefighters self-report they're having a problem and a mental health professional approves their time off. This is kind of the first step of a person uh, recognizing themselves that they need help and then getting help. Studies show that more firefighters die from suicide each year than in the line of duty. In that letter, Kenny Crutcher's widow talked about all the horrible things firefighters see, injured and abused children, or what appeared to trouble Kenny the most. As of today, Dallas firefighters can step back and get time off if they need time to save themselves too. It might not uh, be the solution, but it's the first step in the equation of getting somebody the help that they need. In Dallas, I'm Kevin Reese.